Hi, I am Mune. I'm a singer, songwriter, storyteller. I always like different things. Like from growing up as a child, um, I thought I'd be a scientist. Then I thought I wanted to be a writer because I used to read a lot of novels and I just thought, oh my gosh, I wish I could also just tell people stories and like have them read my books and get, in, get lost in that world. And then when I got to varsity, I was like, I actually still want to be a scientist, so I studied, you know, chemistry. Then at some point, I think the whole storytelling part was really biting, but more on the music side. So I dropped out and then, yeah, I just, I was wandering around. On my gap year in 2015, after dropping out, that's when I actually realized that I, this is what I want to do. And now I'm certain that I want to, I want to tell stories, but in many mediums, um, um, with music being the primary medium that I have access to, and filmmaking being like secondary. I have these desires and um, this passion to tell stories, and I, I can't help but just want to do it. And I feel like because I'm so invested in doing that, like the universe can't help but conspire for it to work for me. This time when I've written for myself to console myself and to make myself feel better. Like when I write a song, like a song about heartbreak, you know, that's for me, that's for me to make myself feel like I'm not losing my mind or to make someone else take all the responsibility because I don't have the capacity to deal with my own emotions. Um, there's also times when I write to celebrate people, like I feel like my whole album I was celebrating my grandmother because I, I, I love her and I wanted to give her flowers while she's alive. I worry about being able to do what I love for as long as I want to. I worry about the access uh, that I have to the things I want to do. I worry about um, longevity, like will my voice sustain me forever. I worry about longevity and passion. Will I always be passionate about this? What if I wake up and I'm 35 and all I know is music and I haven't invested? in any other thing. I also worry about um, just the, the state of um, the art scene in, in the country and the continent I live in, particularly like um, the little that government does to support um, artists. That daydream about just being loved and existing in a small community of love. I also daydream about not having to work um, I don't like working, I don't think human beings are meant to work the way they work now. Um, I think it's not natural and that's why we're so sick, that's why we're so stressed and that's why we miss out on so much that life has to offer. When you're in lack or when you're lacking something and you put it out there, people can't use it against you anymore because you've owned it first. You know? I always tell people that um, if I'm broke, I'm going to ask my friends for money. And if they don't have, they'll say they don't have. If they don't want to give me this, or they don't want to give me. But they can't. It doesn't take anything away from me. And I think it's so weird that money now is so attached to dignity. And whoever has money, we see as dignified. And the poor, you know, have no dignity. And I don't think humanness or humanity, like my humanity, is not in my financial worth. Really? <laughs>